everybody and welcome to the Rosenheim City Grid once again. I'm your man Shorty and we're here because of the Pahelion preview season just started a few days ago. And yes, we have the scoops, we have the scoops, we have the shaper scoops, so we have three shaper cards to preview today. I know what you're all thinking. Do we get bow 2.0? No? At least not <laughs> for the free cards we have to show you. They are all well designed and of reasonable power level. And if you are excited about this as we are, feel free to skip to the cards itself. I will show you the timestamps in the description below. At least show some appreciation and maybe leave a like. And what would be a video about shaper cards if I don't have any support with me? Because Shorty is a bad shaper player. I know nothing about those skateboard tricks, so I brought the best shaper player I know. He's like a real life lad. He managed to get shaper decklist of the week twice in a row. So welcome. Hello, Armin. Hello, Shorty. Here's Armin Firecracker. How's it going, Armin? Good, good. I'm really glad that we have some spoilers. Oh yeah, so I see the cards, you see the cards. Let's not talk too much about it, let's jump right into the action. I think the people are, uh, are keen to see the new cards. So the first new card is Basila Synthgland 2K VJ. It's a unique shaper hardware, cybernetic. When you install this hardware, suffer two core damage. You get plus one allotted click for each of your turns. One to install, free influence. Armin, any thoughts? It's better than Reseki, right? But it has some downsides. Uh, having an extra click is really amazing. Like if you want a deep dive, that's really good. And one click is amazing. But uh, two core damage is pretty heavy. And you can only have one installed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's unique. It's unique. Yeah, I, I want to first talk talk about the, the first section of the card. So it's when you install this hardware, suffer two core damage. I think we agree this is pretty much a pretty hefty downside. It's not only a single core core damage; it's two core damage. Uh, if you're not lucky and playing Asa or some core damage tech cards. Uh, this is a pretty pretty uh, hefty cost. It's only one to install, so that's like like nothing. You want to install this quite early on because because you want to get as much free clicks as you can. But uh, if you install it early, that pretty much means you're effectively playing with a free free hand size all game. Are you playing Adam? <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe. <laughs> it gets even worse. Yeah. The plus one click for each turn, obviously amazing. You can do whatever yeah. you want with it. You can draw a card, click for a credit, play an event, make a run, whatever you want to do. Effectively, if the cop is on his eighth turn, you have your tenth turn <laughs> and so on. So I think after the arrival from Nyasha, we saw how good those constant free clicks are. They're really, really helping you. And yeah, but the core damage, the core damage. Yeah, and classically, uh, Apocalypse runners want to have an extra click and uh, combo shapers, but Apocalypse does not work with the card because you're going to lose it with Apoc. But uh, combo shaper, yeah, like deep dive. That's really good. Also, Arnax could be happy with this card, like Asa, for instance, with the core damage. But in general, like Arnax, don't worry too much about like two core damage. They have cards I want to discard anyway. Yeah, I agree. I agree. There is not too much cards that um, provide you heavy support for more than four clicks a turn. I mean, the the, the most prominent ones are the I call it uh, run all centrals and do something crazy like deep dive or apocalypse. Uh, yeah, outside of that, I don't know. I mean, if you get an additional click and you click for a credit, that's yeah, that's basically a risiki. You're right, but uh, I don't think you want to suffer two core damage just for the risiki. Yeah, but I think also shaper, it's okay. Sometimes you can 
uh, suffered a two core damage you don't care about maybe your hand size too much you want to install most stuff anyways and um, same goes for Anax. I think Asa yeah talked about that but also our good stuff Anak is fine if you suffer two core damage for the additional click that's worth it yeah but the problem is like you want to install it early to get the value of it but you don't want to run three copies of it yeah and the only tutor for hardware so far is uh, at Adam, and at Adam you don't want to suffer co two core damage because you <laughs> might go down on hands as one. No. <laughs> yeah, it sounds terrible. Yeah, <laughs> it's a fun idea. So yeah, it's supposed to be a deep dive card. I I don't know how much we can see this in deep dive decks. You already have the bath, which provides you with additional clicks sometimes and if you want to play deep dive you really don't need an additional click each turn i think it's enough if you have the additional click on the deep dive turn and if you're on deep dive and install this later on in the game you might uh, lose the deep dives out of hand you already draw so yeah that's a little bit a critical situation but yeah we will see how much we, this this card will see play it's free influence so that's quite on cost for splashing this maybe into anarchs i think in criminal this is pretty much unplayable because criminals uh, are so weak to core damage so if one of your key breakers gets trashed by the core damage you pretty much yeah lose the game and additionally, we are in a pretty, um, I would say, damage heavy meta. We have the personal evolution decks with all the chip damage. We have boom. Uh, we have neuro spike. I don't know if you really want to lower your hand size for the cost of an additional click. So let's talk about the art for a moment. I mean, um, yeah. As far as I can see, this is meant to be some kind. So yeah, it's a cybernetic means some. It changes. It changes your body, or it's in, implemented into your body. So it seems like the Basila synth gland 2K VJ is the kind of skull jack uh, the person has on its neck. And if you look closely into the artwork, you can see the reflection in the mirror, and the reflection seems to be much older than the person standing there, because the person in the mirror has like wrinkles and look like all, yeah, like an old person. So the fluff is something like live fast, die young, or something like that. <laughs> so that's why you get the additional click. I, I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, we also have a flavor text on this, and it it isn't as enjoyable as coffee, but the effects are mag magnitude stronger. It's but liquid yeah. that gets yeah. in your spine, or maybe electrodes to yeah, your spine. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's not not even the, the the skull check. Maybe it's something that is put into the skull check, like like the purple, blue, orange thingy. Fun thing is, imagine you install. You install this, suffer the two core damage, and you play against the Drago deck, and it gets bounced back to your hand. Oh man, how terrible! Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> yeah, that's so super bad. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's not the right meter to play it now. Yeah, maybe, maybe. And the restriction to be unique, I can just suppose Null Signal Games did this because of preventing some broken interactions. You never want to over install this one or install a second one. Um, yeah, doesn't make any sense otherwise. No, no, it makes sense to be unique. Okay, up to the next card. Yes, so next we have the Flux Capacitor. Flux Capacitor! It's an Trojan program for zero credits and one memory. Uh, the text is install on a piece of ice. The first time you break a subroutine during each encounter with host ice, you may charge one of your installed cards. And the flavor text is Are you telling me it's pronounced gigawatts? Captain Padma is Bista. And to influence. Yeah, first things first. I love the. F the the flavor of this one this is obviously a homage to the back to the future movies we all love and yeah the flux capacitor was the the main part of the of the time machine doc brown built and yeah and also the flavor text with the gigawatts yeah obviously it's it 
it's a hint to the movies. Other than that, um, we see the new keyword, Trojan, which was, I think, included not too long ago by Null Signal Games, which is basically just means these are programs that are hosted on ICE. Yeah. It's unique. That's a little uh, strange, it's unique. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Recently realized it's unique, and I was thinking about other programs that are unique. Do you know any out of your head right now, uh, Armin? Because I didn't knew, I looked it up. No. They are awesome. I, at first I was maybe thinking, this, this might Some be programs where you expect yeah. they're unique, like yeah. Reaver, which are not. Yes, thank you. That was my first, my first guess was, is Reaver unique? No, it's not. But there are programs that are unique, like Takobi is unique, RNG key, and some other programs that make absolutely sense. But there are only a few, and most of them are shapers, so this fits in, uh, into the spot. To the card text itself, yeah, so it needs to be hosted on a, pro, uh, on a piece of ice. We already seen quite uh, some cards, um, like the Trojan cards, also in Shaper. One very similar card is Cuban. Uh, it gives mm -hmm. you two credits every time you pass the ice, so it's not a power counter, but two credits. It's really similar, and didn't see a lot of play yet, yeah. but I like to play around with it. And uh, like one charge could be better than two credits, but it's more conditional. Yeah, I mean, so what do we charge with this? A boat? <laughs> yeah. And maybe the next card we're gonna spoil. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, so the first thing you, you, you think about is, so I can buff my boat. We already yeah, but see if... quite some of those yeah. supportive power, power counter uh, cards in the first part of the Borealis cycle in Midnight Sun. Um, and this keeps continuing the the trend the trend of this yeah it's shaper it's a program you have smc you have cmol chip you have into the depths shouldn't be too hard to get this one on the table and if you need to fodder it for your cmol chip or maybe you sell it with uh, sops that's fine <laughs> you mean it's not good <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Obviously, you need something with power counters to charge. Otherwise, the card is nonsense. But uh, I think ninety nine percent of the shaper decks these days run endurance. You have, um, for example, uh, Earthrise Hotel. You have yeah. Hyperbaric. There's there's a lot of cards to charge. So this is another little tool to charge. I think it's a little bit. Difficult uh, if you, you need to host it on a piece of ice. You inst you want to install it on a rest piece of ice because <laughs> so you know what kind kind of ice it is. And if you are able to break it, and you need to be able to break it because you need to break a subroutine to get its effect. So yeah, yeah. If you do it on a cheap piece of ice, it may be get over installed. If you do it on a uh, expensive piece of ice. Uh, you, you mostly tend to not break expensive piece of ice more than you need to. So you need to find a yes. little bit of the sweet spot with this. It's yeah, you need to get a card with which you want to be charged, you need to pass an ice, and you need to install that card. That's three conditions. And maybe you are happy if the corp is over installing the ice just because the Lux capacitor. Flux capacitor. And then uh, you already got the value out of the card, right? If the corp over installs it, it's a zero cost. Yep, totally, totally. So, uh, this is, I also think, so even, even if it's a cheap or a semi-annoying piece of ice, if it gets over installed, that's fine. If this gets sucks up by magnet, which will happen, I suppose, which uh, is also fun. <laughs> yeah. Then you can sell it. Yeah, yeah, you can still sell it. Yeah, I, th I think it's a... Okay, inclusion. It's also unique. I wonder why. And 
Unicards always have the problem, how many copies do you play? Do you play one copy? You might not even see the car at all. If you play two copies, you have at least one dead copy already in your uh, in your deck because you can't install both of them. Yeah. 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 Three of them might be overkill. Yeah. One is a good number and you might want to use SMC or maybe into the depths with it. That, that, that's I don't know. I don't know. I don't think the effect is that strong. What do you think a card like this in a Padma deck? just for additional charges. So maybe you don't need the Padma charge um, for your Earthrise Hotel. Maybe you use it for uh, to boost the boat even more. Yeah, I think for Padma it makes the most sense because you already want to uh, play cards which are charged. Play around with it. Let's see what Flux Capacitor can do. Yeah. It's only to, to influence. So theoretically you can splash it in pretty much every deck maybe if you have some broken combination which depends on charge cards but otherwise no. yeah maybe because you splash the boat you splash a flux capacitor oh yeah mm, i don't there know might, yeah there might be better cards to charge yeah but at least this is like an infinity charge yeah as long as you can break the ice this is Infinity Charge and uh, only Padma has Infinity Charge so far. Everything else is like a one shot. We move to the next card. Alright, and the last card is Dr. Nuka Vrolik. It's a unique uh, Shaper resource, a connection. It's one to install, to influence. When you install this resource, load two power counters onto it. When it's empty, trash it. Click and a hosted power counter to draw three cards. I say it first, Diesel. Okay, Armin, here you go. No, it's double Diesel. <laughs> yeah, it's twice the Diesel. <laughs> you just pay uh, two clicks more and a credit, but you get two diesel that means like you spend one card less so it's a good deal yeah the first thing that came to my mind when i read this card was like this will replace the earthrise hotels in the apartment decks yeah because you pay only one to install that's way easier yeah. than paying four for the install yeah yeah i agree um in general, I like the effect more. Like, I like, I'd rather charge an Earthrise Hotel. Like, two cards clickless is better than one click for three cards. But yes, the install cost is yes. so good. Yes, yes, um, that's true. That's true. I think the not only uses a power counter, it also uses a click. This is very important. And if you do the math, it's not really like diesel. At first it sounds like that, but you are right. You also have to install this resource and pay a credit for it. So it means the first time you use a power counter from this, you pay two clicks and the second time you use one click and one credit, if you can say it like that. So it's not like two diesel in once, but yeah, it saves card slots. It saves card slots. This is good draw. This is even good draw if you can cannot charge it. Yeah. On top of that, you can just install it and click it twice. So it, nobody says you can use it once per turn. So you can install and draw six cards if you want to. That That's a lot of card draw. Yeah. In one card. And if you can charge it maybe once, maybe you keep it for like eight turns as your main draw. Of course, you will always, always need to pay the click to draw the three cards. But yeah, if we draw uh, diesel, we are always happy. We also play Diesel and don't think about it. Oh no, this costs a click. I don't play it. Yeah, I remember times when I was new to Netrun. I was like, oh no, let's cut the Diesel. I don't need it, but it's so easy. Always play three Diesel, right, with Shaper? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's where the for me at least this is why this is the most controversial card, and I think this will need a little bit of testing, and this will lead up to some discussions. I think. This is super good draw. So, but where do you put it? It's in the same set as the stone ship chart room. And stone ship chart room is clickless draw, which means stone ship chart room will save you from P1 
punitives with a full hand size, it will save you from boom. You won't get neuro spike. You maybe get, don't get the chip damage from PE. With this, you need to click to draw. So do you cut the stone chip for the Dr. Nuka Vrolik? Or you might even want to cut your diesels? I think you gonna play the diesel and you gonna play the Nuka. Yeah, but then you don't have mm. any safety belt anymore. M maybe you don't play LUT. Because then maybe you don't need to draw from LUT anymore with this card. And you play Stone Ship, yeah. Why not? Yeah, but then, then you have like nine cards? Is, isn't it, it sounds crazy, but isn't that too much draw, maybe? I don't think so. Like, if that's the only draw, then you how much draw do you get from those nine cards? It's, uh... It's like three, six, nine, and four. This is just half your deck. That, that's you, actually you need more draw than this, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I I think you can also maybe do like the middle ground and play two Vrolix and two um, Stone Chips, maybe. Yeah, maybe. And the fact that she's uh, unique. I don't know why, yeah, because she's a unique connection, yeah, that, that makes sense, but you won't notice it in the game because uh, when the power counters are empty, it's gonna trash itself and you just gonna install the new Dr. Nuka Vrolik. Yeah, it's like an Earth Rise, sometimes it's annoying, you wanna install the second one before the first one is gone, but usually it's no problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it somehow reminds me a little bit of a T-level contract. Yeah, you click it to get three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But this is for free cards, yeah. Too bad telework isn't power counters. Ah, oh, that would be yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. That would be good. Well, we, we saw a card before which gives you additional clicks, so yeah, that, that additional click to draw yeah, free cards might be not too bad. It's a good combination. Yeah. And I think that could be a good splash for criminals instead of diesel, maybe. Because you get, like, double value for the two. <laughs> you get twice the diesel, yeah, yeah. And criminals lack draw. I agree. But like I said, I think the card is perfectly fine if you just click it twice and it gets trashed. I think that's already value. Yeah, you don't need to charge. No. You can charge, of course, and use it as your main draw, maybe. And click it once per turn. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah, with partner. You yeah. might. Yeah, if you if you use it like that, it's like the like the pancakes back in the day. The what is it called? Was it wild side? The wild side. You lose a click, but you draw cards. That's something yeah. you can play around. You need splash draw. Splash draw is uh, very important, not only to find your tools, but also to uh, fill up your hand back up and to save you from very different threats. Also, if this one gets bounced or trashed, maybe you get tagged and they trash it. Whatever. You don't mind. Yeah, whatever. It's also a card you can just discard for the uh, big NBN agenda. How is it called? Um, Degree Mill. Degree Mill, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you love if this gets bounced back or shuffled back. That's no problem at all. Yeah. We will see. We will see. I think it's hard to justify this. Um, if you may be running the good old Earthrise Hotel daily casts and career fear package, maybe you don't want to touch Dr. Nuka. Otherwise, I think you can pretty much play it in every shaper. And yeah, you can also play this in Anarch or Adam or Apex. No, Apex not, but yeah, forget about Apex. <laughs> <laughs> You can yeah, flip it I, with a simulator, but I think that's not worth it. <laughs> I think uh, Anak has enough draw already. They don't need that. You Maybe if you need it, if you build some kind of different Anak. Yeah, also this card kind of continues to push um, Proko to a super niche card. Yeah. Ah, and good combination is also Paul's Coffee. Oh, it's a unique, it's a connection, unique connection. Yeah, that's finally. Cool. That's true. Cool. That's also in shape. Bah, yeah. That's one more. That's true. And it's a playable one. Yeah, yeah. So there's also some 
Flavor text saying, there is another world under the waves, vanishing as we speak. I want to map it before it's gone. The person is a scientist and um, it's wearing, yeah, we discussed it a little bit before the recordings. This seems like, what is it, I mean, some kind of a traditional... Landic shoulder warmer? You say uh, Icelandic before and it really reminds me with the colors, but... I don't know. I think it has some meaning here in this picture. Maybe it's just just to do the connection with the Borealis. Um, the artist, I think it was important for the artist, I think. I don't know why, but it might be. So what is it in background? Is she sitting on top of the Endurance? Or in the Endurance? It looks like a boat, yeah. Oh yeah, could be, could be. And you see it like a light out of the window? And it's like uh, the like um, the signal lights from the boat, like yeah. telling I'm here. Thank you, Armin, for supporting me here. Looking forward to see the cards in action and looking forward to so many other spoilers and scoops that is coming up. This was the Shaper part. Thanks to Mike P for the cards. Thanks to Null Signal Games for providing us with the scoops. I know uh, the people in the design team and the whole team has done a ton of work to make this possible to get the cards out in time thank you and thank you Armin yeah amazing job thank you and thank you Shorty bye bye bye